Zach Halbert, NASCAR.com. Um, can you recall a time in your career where you've competed and win this this fierce? And um, how do you expect that to, you know, kind of alter uh, today's schedule and tomorrow's? Yeah, I I don't um, recall a time where I've been at a racetrack where it's this windy. I I I, be, I believe I was here years ago and it was. 20 plus mile an hour is pretty windy. I remember Jimmy Johnson and I thought it would be a great idea to go for a bike ride on Friday between practice and qualifying. And we rode our bikes out of the tunnel and went uh, that way. So we went north um, on that, that road out there behind the racetrack. And I remember we were going like 30 miles an hour that way. And when we turned around to come back, we were like pedaling for all we were worth and going like six miles an hour. I mean, it was just an absolute grind. And we finally ended up having to call his bus driver, Viggy, to come pick us up because we weren't going to make it back in time to get ready to qualify. So um, that was a pretty windy day, but I don't think the race that weekend was was very windy. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't recall a time where we've been at a racetrack where it's been this windy. It will be a challenge um, just because you'll have these random gusts of wind that will change the balance of your car. Um, and you won't know if you have a flat tire or if your, your handling's going away or if it was just the wind, right? So it'll just cause more, um, you know, unknowns and question marks. And it'll be harder for you to hit your marks as a driver to be precise and consistent because the wind is not going to be consistent. It's not just going to be a steady 30 mile an hour wind constantly. It's going to swirl. It's going to gust. Um, so yeah, it'll, it'll pre present several challenges.